Cause the fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine The fog on the tine is all mine, all mine The fog on the tine is all mine Hello folks, welcome to Jory Hunters TV, with me Daryl. Um, just a quick video for you, uh, I've been out of the range today. I was supposed to be going down to the British shooting show, but um, due to the bad press and stuff I've been reading on the forums about the parking issues and the police turning people away, I didn't really want to make the 270 mile trip down there. So I decided just to go up to my local range. Um, like you say, what it is, the video, a uh, quick video for the day is uh, basically about general maintenance uh, what I do when I come back from the range to clean my guns down so uh, welcome to my uh, man cave which is uh, the kitchen um, if you just give us a couple of seconds I'll uh, show you some of the gear what I use let's grab the camera um, this is my maintenance station uh, most of the stuff I carry with is in my toolbox uh, which is that um, good quality gun rest um, just simply like you see it supports the rifle well um, you can spin the whole thing around it's, um, it actually locks in if you use that lever there it locks the gun solid you could probably use it as a shooting platform I haven't used it as a shooting platform but you probably could to keep the rifle still um, anyway so like you see um, this is a couple of products I'm using. Um, general, keep me uh, the barrel oil. Slight little bit of that. You don't need very much. Just quick squirt down the barrel. Stops the barrel from rusting. Um, got this little squeezy bottle of oil that I use just for general lubrication on my spring rifles, the roll pins, stuff like that. A little bit of oil on the triggers. Um, spring rifles, I swear by this stuff. Abbey Gun Grease LT2 uh, for the springs and the the piston slides. Silk and Gun Grease. It's got quite a few uses. Um, I have tried it on springs with it being um, like a man-made grease, uh, but it doesn't really work as well as the. I'll be going to grease this uh, silicon. So, but it's like you see, it's mainly I, I tend to use it on uh, on trigger pins, stuff like that. Like that got me little brush, dead soft lens brush. Um, keeping your optics clean, top priority in my eyes. Um, nothing worse than getting grit, sand, or whatever when you're out in the field. And the first thing you want to do is either wipe it with your mucky t-shirt or gloves or out like that and scratch your lenses, take the coatings off. So quick sweep with a little brush gets rid of me, the main dirt. Then I've got a good quality camera lens cloth which I use for cleaning the lenses. Taking uh, all the fogging off or whatever like that grease um, pulling the barrel through I've got this brilliant stuff Blue Wonder gun cleaner slight little bit on a couple of Napier patches obviously select the right size for your barrel 3 for 2.2 two and 2 for 177 slight little bit on that, uh, that. pull your barrel through with your pull through and then the same just dry patches right the way out and another product which I swear by is this stuff here Ballastol it says the universal oil 
and you can use it literally on everything. There you go. Metal, wood, ro leather, rubber, synthetic material, and much more. And much more is right. I use it for just about everything to do with guns. Um, I'll give you a quick um, show on a on my pro sport on the stock. I actually use it for the metal and the stock itself, and it does not bring the grain out. Um, it's a brilliant cleaner. Um, as for cleaning cloths, that old T-shirt, oops, old T-shirt, cut up into sections. I can't see the point of going out and buying all these microfiber this and microfiber that and felt cloths and stuff like that. When I can do just as much with an old T-shirt that you're probably never ever gonna wear again. It's got moth holes in or whatever like that. So, but anyway, that's my cleaning kit. And uh, like you see, the rifle sits in the holder there. Um, one thing I will say, what I use as well, is I've got a plastic bag with a bit of old t shirt in, which I keep in my toolbox at all times. And all I do is impregnate that with ballistol. And I don't know if I can give you a quick demo while holding the camera, which probably isn't a good idea because obviously it's covered in oil, and I'm probably going to get my camera covered in oil. But there you see it. Here we go. Just an old raggy T-shirt. Coated in ballistol, and you can see the glisten on my fingers there. And if I come out the front way, you can see that. Literally, quick weight over. There you go. Shiny. The barrel. Give it a good rub. Stops all your rusting when you come in. Synthetics, like it says on the thing. Quick rub, you can see it happening there now. Cleans all the crap and whatever you've collected out where you've been out in the field. Like that. All the way around the whole gun before it gets put in the gun cabinet. Even do the scopes and all. Just to keep them looking nice and like that. You can see the difference there. If I move out the way of the light, there we go. Non shiny dull. There you go, and you can probably see that difference there with the ballast all on. I'll just do that. There you go. Hey, you see, it's just me, it's, it's my personal preference. Just to um, keep things all basically clean and rust free before they go in the gun cabinet. Uh, one thing I will say about this stuff, actually, the Blue uh, Wonder, is if I can zoom in and show you. Removes rust without harming gun blue. It's absolutely brilliant. Any little rust spots that you start getting, if you miss a bit with your thing, a little bit of that on with your finger, fingernail. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I've got any rust on there. Uh, I shouldn't have any rust on this one, like, but uh, no, we haven't. But let you see, any, any tiny wee little rust spots, anything like that, as it first starts to form, tiny wee little bit of that on your finger. Rub it with your thumbnail till the rust disappears. Wipe it off with your t-shirt. And then like you say, either your good quality gun oil or your ballistol. Give it a rub over with your t-shirt, with your cloth, and that rust will disappear. I've had it a couple of times, like you say, I've, I, I swear by the stuff. It's absolutely brilliant. So, anyway, that's me, uh, that's me maintenance schedule anyway for when I come in. Um, if you just give us a, a couple of minutes I'll swap over to the Pro Sport and I'll show you what the ballistol does on wood. Right, that's the uh, Pro Sport on the top of the gun rest there. Like I said before, got your plastic bag here yeah, with me ballistol impregnated bit of t-shirt. And if we just tip it that way, just rub the wood back and forth like you would any other time you are cleaning your rifle like that 
add onto the metal, onto the blue one. I'll tip it there, you may be able to see it a bit better. And say, like I said before, your scopes. Just to basically clean any gunk that you've accumulated while you've been out in the field or at the range or anything at all like that. All the way through. But as you can see, if I can turn that that way, you've got a shiny side, not so a shiny side, and just do that side as well, turn it that way, under lever, mucky bits off where your hands have been, just clean your aluminium there, around your trigger guard. I suppose you get the idea. Like to see it, but um, the average price for a tin of that size is run way up here around about a tenner um, for the baluster. Uh, you can see a bit of condensation now that's been uh, outside. So there you go. Anyway, that's my general maintenance. Um, every rifle that gets used of mine when I take it out comes back in and it gets the same process put through. Um, the barrel gets cleaned uh, when basically I lose accuracy um, or if I find accuracy is being affected um, the barrel gets cleaned so there we go thank you for watching and if you like what you see don't forget to click the subscribe button and the like button. Bye for now The fog on the tine is all mine, all mine. The fog on the tine is all mine. The fog on the tine is all mine, all mine. The fog on the tine is all mine.